Good morning, I'm Carly Barker and this is your OC Metro Minute for Monday, February 13th, 2012. Today's OC Metro Minute is brought to you by SunWest Bank. In this morning's Orange County Business News headline, is California unemployment on the rise? Nationwide unemployment numbers fell to a four-year low last week. However, the U.S. Labor Department still has mixed reviews about the Golden State. In January, California jobless claims began to rise, which state officials attribute to more layoffs in manufacturing and people claiming unemployment after post-holiday layoffs according to the OC Register. But the good news is January 2012 proved to have the lowest unemployment numbers since January of 2008. Overall, experts believe the unemployment trend is still headed in the right direction despite a bumpy start to the year. And Air Force One is headed to Southern California. President Obama is expected to visit Corona Del Mar for a fundraiser held at a private residence in Short Cliffs early Thursday morning. Want to attend? Breakfast and a picture with the president at the private event is going for $10,000. For those hoping for a little more FaceTime with President Obama, they can arrange for a meet and greet for a little over $35,000. The Corona Del Mar Police Department says there will not be an official travel route released for the president, but to expect traffic delays in the eastern part of the city Thursday morning. And are you counting calories for Valentine's? The Santa Ana-based Values Institute at DGWB has conducted a study about the top Valentine's trends for people pursuing healthy lifestyles. Topping the list for those who are avoiding the box chocolates is couples cooking classes. The Institute says that more and more couples are opting for cooking classes on the holiday of love rather than going out. Also on the list was joint massages and weekend spa getaways. And last but not least, pretty enough to eat edible fruit arrangements. President of the Institute Mike Wiseman said these findings are consistent with the public's growing desire to pursue health over wealth. He said the fact that wellness trends are changing the way couples express themselves on Valentine's Day tells you how important health has become as a purchase and lifestyle motivator. Well, that was your OC Metro Minute. As always, check back for the latest in local business news headlines. And if your business is making news, let us know. Send us an email to newsdesk at ocmetro.com. I'm Carly Barker. I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning for your OC Metro Minute. Thanks for watching.